Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a baseboard for the Culus Cobra bag so that you've got a nice, sturdy platform and it performs nice and quick and rebounds well when you're punching it. If you're using the KS3 spring, it's especially important for the platform to be rock solid. Now it's also important to have the right amount of weight weighing down the baseboard or the platform. Now I'm using two of these Kula sandbags, each weighing about 45 pounds. So that's a total of about 90 pounds. And you need that much weight to ensure this is properly weighed down. Now let's look at the board itself. Now there are two very important things that you need to consider when making the baseboard. The first thing is the width and length of the board. Now this needs to be at least two feet in width. You don't want it to be any smaller than that. The other thing that's really important is the thickness and that will determine the length of the screws and the thickness you want needs to be at least an inch thick. This one is actually one and a half inches where I've used two boards and I've actually stuck two boards together. Now if you're not able to make these boards yourself or go and buy them at, uh, at a hardware store, you can actually get a cabinet maker or a carpenter to make this up for you. For the screws, I'm using one and a half inch wood screws. They've got a countersunk um, top like that, and these are perfect. And you're gonna need eight of these. Now, if your board is thicker, you can get longer screws, but basically, the thickness of the multi-base um, bottom section is about five eighths of an inch. And then I've got a one inch or one and a half inch uh, baseboard so these one and a half inch screws are long enough, but not too long so that they don't protrude through the bottom. If they protrude, you'll need to file them away. Basically, you need nice, long, big screws and you'll need eight of them to connect the, ba um, the multi-base to the board. And the heavier the board, the better it is. Then you'll need less weight, but essentially you need 90 pounds to weigh it down. Now as for the type of wood or type of board that you need, I actually recommend MDF board or you can use chip board. They're quite cheap and you can get two thinner pieces like this that you can stick together to give it that thickness that you need. So you want at least an inch thick, an inch and a half would be ideal, and then you want two by two uh, in terms of the size. Now you can get these cut to size at the hardware store. They usually have a saw and you can ask them to cut it. I asked the guys at Bunnings to cut a longer piece into two pieces that I've stuck together and made that thicker uh, board. Well, that's it guys. Hopefully you can make a nice sturdy platform for yourself. Remember, the KS3 can also be plugged directly into the multi-base and can be used by small kids. Now, if you don't wanna make the base board yourself, you can always get a tradie or uh, someone that you know, a carpenter, a local carpenter or, or local cabinet maker, and pay them 50 bucks and they'll whip one up for you in no time. Hopefully this helps. If you've got any questions, just put them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. I'll see you guys in the next video.